Hi, I'm Heidi Toby, Director of Social Work Programs at Therapist Development Center. If you're a first time viewer and looking to pass your social work or MFT licensing exam, or just interested in topics relevant to clinical social work and psychotherapy, you've come to the right place. If you like it, be sure to subscribe for updates. You can also sign up for our complete LMSW, LCSW, and MFT exam prep programs by going to our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com or click on our logo. Today's topic is records. As every social worker in newer season knows, maintaining records is an important part of the job. Because of this, record keeping is a topic that's regularly tested on the ASWB master's and clinical level exams. What do you need to know about record keeping for the LMSW and LCSW exams? Are you ready for the questions on this important topic? What to know about records. Maintaining accurate records is both a legal and ethical issue. Each state has different laws about how long records need to be kept. The good news is this is a national exam, so specific state laws won't be tested. For this topic, and in general on the exam, if there's an answer option to follow jurisdictional regulations, that's a good one to go with. Know that the therapist or agency owns the record, not the client. The client, however, does have a right to access their record when requested. If a parent of a minor is the one who consented to treatment, they do have a right to access the child's record. This should always be discussed both with the parent and the minor at the beginning of treatment. If a client dies, the executor of the estate for the deceased client can request records. What if you are subpoenaed for a client's record? Another important topic related to records is what to do when you receive a subpoena for a client's record. This is one of the most common topics that I receive questions on as a coach, and it's actually the subject of next month's blog, so be on the lookout. ASWB practice question. A social worker is contacted by a former client's spouse who had medical power of attorney prior to the client's recent death. The spouse requests a copy of the deceased client's record. What should the social worker do? A provide a copy of the record because the spouse was the medical power of attorney, B, explain that under no circumstances can a deceased client's record be shared, C, assert privilege, or D, explain that a copy of the record can only be requested by the executor of the client's estate. The correct answer is D, to explain that the executor of the client's estate can request a copy of the record. A is incorrect because medical power of attorney ends at death. B is not an accurate statement. There are circumstances in which a deceased client's record can be shared. C is incorrect because this is not a situation in which we can assert privilege. As mentioned, privilege will be discussed further in next month's social work blog. Thanks so much for listening. Remember, if you're studying for your exam and looking for the best LMSW, LCSW, or MFT exam prep program, please visit our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com to sign up. With a 95% pass rate, we offer the best study system on the market to help you pass your exam with confidence. Here at TDC, we're with you until you pass.